Way to start us out, James. Oh yeah, what a tank. Turn him over this wheel, man. That's a big smallmouth, holy cow. For Rainy Lake. That is a junk, man, on the Largo Shad. Just starting us out here. Roger Cormier, Midwest Outdoors, and that's my uh, son Nicholas's buddy, James, who just popped our first smallmouth of the morning up here in Voyagers National Park, Rainy Lake. Absolutely one of my favorite destinations. Absolutely awesome, James. Let's bump him quick. Yeah, it's a 19-incher. Awesome, dude. Awesome. What a start. <laughs> bagging, bagging. No, big walleye, big, isn't it? No, it's big bass. I mean, oh a my big bass. God. Yeah, you probably net that one. Beautiful. Oh, good. <laughs> So we got three main forage on Rainy. We got the crawfish, the perch. We're imitating here that's coming back is that smelt. And obviously that's what she wanted. Deep shatter wrap, ghost shiner. That's what Rainy's all about right here. James is hooked up too. We got a double. He's taking some, oh my gosh. <laughs> that a boy. Ah, oh, the kids, you guys are gonna have fun today, man. You like family fishing. You like bringing your kids out on the lakes. This is what it's all about up here on Rainy Lake. I mean, I'm just giddy already. We're literally just getting started, and I think this is going to be a numbers and size thing today. Got him. That's a big one. Another double. <laughs> I'm going to come back here with mine. Whew. Nice. Here we go. Another nice double, huh? All three trebles in them. All right, James. Not a bad Rainy Lake double right there. <laughs> nice walleye. Mixed right in on some of these shorelines with the with the bass, you know, you'll get your share of northern pike, and if you fish here in the spring and the fall when the water is under about 65 degrees, you'll get some truly big northern pike here. I mean, today's segment, we're focusing on the smallmouth just because they're coming, you know, two and three at a time in some spots, but yeah, and that's a typical, typical specimen on Rainy Lake right there. Just a beast walleye, and you can see just like those smallmouth, I mean, they're absolutely choking choking those swim baits and, and there's a few of these guys up shallow with the bass we're not getting a ton of them but that's a nice one there one of the bigger ones of the day let me give you some tackle tips when you're coming up to rainy lake as we're showing you today a really a casting paradise for smallmouth and for walleyes in the spring uh, smaller profile baits earlier in the season when the bait fish is smaller that three inch largo shad has been deadly today but we're catching them on lots of white uh, profiles and smaller three and four inch baits later in the summer you can go to you know bigger spinner baits uh, bigger swim baits uh, larger jerk baits and you'll catch fish as that forage grows and you're imitating those larger bait fish in the water they also eat a ton of crayfish up here i mean rainy lake is pretty much all rock so um, lots of oranges and browns work in your crank baits your little swim baits bring a basically anything that you got in the tackle box and you're going to catch a ton of fish up here as we're showing you today to give you an idea of the vastness of rainy lake at over 200,000 acres i mean we've got a stretch of shoreline here all the way up to this point in front of us it's just a giant gravel bar i mean everything's up feeding the whole main basin is behind us baits getting blown up on here and some of these are just littler guys, but this is a lake where you can come to and you know, catch 100 fish in a day, no problem. Let me take a minute and tell you about Rainy Lake and some of the opportunities uh, for families and fishermen to stay up here. There's a wide variety of lodging, hotels and motels in both the towns of International Falls and Rainier. Lots of awesome resorts with you know, marinas and docking and uh, boat access and launches. There's a couple of houseboat operators up here. This is a water-based park, Voyagers National Park. There are no motor restrictions here. So you can come up here with your high horsepower boat and explore this entire system. If you're intimidated by the size of the water up here, you can get with some fishing guides up here that will show you the lake and also the techniques that are working during your stay. Spectacular scenery and as we're showing you today, spectacular fishing as well.
another big one on that ghost shiner shadow wrap deep. Oh, that's a big small mouth, wow. Holy cow. This isn't a fishery where you catch 21, 22 at smallmouth all the time. 18 inches are big up here. The beauty of rainy is you just catch tons what a of them. Toad, man. This is another giant one. I mean, just an unbelievable day, huh? Hopefully, you've gotten some semblance for how spectacular Rainy Lake can be. I mean, we're it's a half a fishing day, guys. Dozens and dozens of bass. If you'd like to experience Rainy Lake, it's rainylake.org for all your information to plan your family's trip to northern Minnesota and Voyagers National Park, a spectacular place to go fishing. With my son, Nicholas, his buddy James from School, I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.